the movie started Facing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen Alright guys, we're back with another video uh, Today's video is going to cover adding in second SSD I uh, recently purchased a second Sarah Brent uh, drive This particular time I purchased a 2 terabyte drive It's this guy right here and um, what I'm planning to do is actually take my uh, previous Cerebrant one terabyte drive, clone that to the two terabyte drive. Then I'm going to take the Toshiba branded drive that came with the laptop and clone that over to the one terabyte Cerebrant drive. If you watched my previous video, you saw the uh, write and read times were uh, significantly faster on a Cerebrant versus the uh, Toshiba drive. So uh, let's get started. Here's the old one terabyte uh, Cerebrant drive that uh, I per I've installed, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Here's the two terabyte uh, Cerebrant drive that I just purchased for this particular project. This is the USB to MVME I purchased and whether um, it worked out the way I had intended so uh, What was cool about this particular enclosure is I don't know if you can see it, but it actually supports two drives at the same time uh, When I originally purchased this I was under the impression that I could have two NVMe uh, drives and uh, Be able to run both of them. I happen to have uh, two 512 uh, drives and my intention was to after the project is to put both of those 512s and mount this uh, to the laptop and have two 512 drives. Uh, the other thing I purchased was a um, SSD heat shield. I got this off of Amazon. Actually, I got all this off of Amazon. And um, uh, so here it is. So what I want to do is go over each one of these and let you know if it was a good purchase or a bad purchase. Um, let's start with the... Uh, with the SSD drive. So um, this slides off and you can install, uh, install a uh, M.2 SSD drive one here and you can flip it over. This one here was very hard to get off for whatever reason. And you can install one on this side, and then you have two. Oh, hold on. And then you have two ports here that uh, you can uh, plug in. Each one is independent, so you'd actually have to have two connections for to access both drives. So that's the particular drive. Now, how did it work? Well, as it turns out, as it turns out. Um, one drive is SATA and one drive is MVME. So it did not work uh, for me the way, the way I intended it to. So this will be going back. Uh, this was uh, $59, so it was quite a bit for an enclosure. Uh, but I thought it was worth the extra money because I thought I'd be able to get both drives in there. Now, in terms of just being able to copy my drives over, uh, this this worked fine. So if, if you have a... Uh, one MVME drive and one SATA uh, this particular drive will work great for you I actually uh, don't happen to have a SATA so um, I'm shipping this back two terabyte drive uh, I've been really thrilled with the th uh, throughput of these drives um, so highly recommend it and the uh, price point this particular two terabyte drive was uh, $250 the one terabyte drive was a hundred dollars. So for 350, I've got three terabytes, and I'm pretty happy with that. Significantly cheaper than purchasing it, purchasing it from Dell. The next thing was the uh, heat shield. Now, um, I've already. This is my extra SSD. And I've kind of set this heat shield up so that you could see kind of um, what they were, uh, how they intended this heat shield to work. 
Um, this is actually the uh, Toshiba uh, SSD 512 that came with the laptop. So in this particular kit, you get some alcohol wipes, you get the thermal pads, and several little uh, rubber bands. And then I can't get everything picked up. And then here's the heat shield. And it's actually, uh, in terms of heat shields, it's really thick. So you take your SSD and you thermal paste to it. Then you're going to take the heat shield, put, place it on top like so. Now it's, it's a pretty um, thick uh, package there. Then to hold this on, you're going to take these rubber bands and rubber band around it um, like so. And uh, so here's the finished product. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not keen on putting uh, this type of solution in my laptop. Uh, we know that the laptop can get hot. So I am concerned that these little rubber bands could melt or cause some other type of issue. Uh, the other thing I've noticed is the, the uh, D drive, uh, since it does not have the operating system on it, gets used significantly less than the C drive. So I've got the Dell branded heat sink on the C drive and uh, the, the thermals on my um, other drive that does not have a heat sink is only around 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. So I'm not too concerned about it. Once Dell uh, releases their heat shields, I'll probably purchase one of those and install that. It's significantly thinner and it does not uh, install with uh, rubber bands. So I would send this back, but it was only $6 and the return shipping is like 12. So I'll be keeping it and I'll probably keep it anyway because I could use the uh, thermal paste pads that uh, we've we've got here so I consider this a no-go also what I'm gonna do next is show you a little video of what happened uh, the other day and um, we'll come back wrap this video up was never actually inserted into the board. Okay guys, so <clears throat> I just want to wrap this video up. Uh, we, I did get the uh, SSDs installed and everything is working fine. I originally was going to uh, show you guys the screens and the trouble I went through and it, it dawned on me, you guys probably didn't want to see that, but a lot of people did want to see uh, inside the laptop. So I chose to uh, include that uh, video instead. Um, again, my problem was the UEFI 
partition uh, was created um, too small. It was created 125 megabytes and it needed to be 128. Uh, once I increased that, I was able to uh, boot off of the cloned C drive perfectly fine. I also wanted to say that the uh, external SSD enclosure I used worked fine, although uh, I could not use two uh, SSDs in it, so I'm going to elect to ship that back. The uh, SSD heat shield, I just, I'm not going to recommend that to anybody because of the uh, rubber bands. If someone has used these, uh, used this kit in the uh, past with the rubber bands, uh, please leave us a comment. Let us know how that worked out for you. Okay, so what's next? I've got a video that covers the uh, backpack included in the combo coming up next. Uh, right after that video, I'll have another video uh, that's going to cover undervolting. I have successfully undervolted this laptop. It's been running under undervolted for several days now. And so I want to have a detailed uh, video on undervolting and what you can expect. Uh, following that video, we'll have another video on uh, the OLED panel. I get a lot of questions about the OLED panel. Um, it is simply gorgeous, especially in comparison to the Alienware 15R3 I had, which also had an OLED panel. These are just not even in the same league. Uh, this looks just as good and vibrant as a uh, Samsung phone. So I absolutely love it. And I'll have a video on it here in the next couple of, uh, probably in the next week or so. All right. Uh, uh, so we have several more videos coming up, and I'd encourage you guys to subscribe. Uh, click the notification bell below, and uh, if you got any comments, definitely feel free to leave them or any uh, critiques even. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.